most people are very frustrated with their progress, right? Most people either aren't losing fat quickly enough, they're not getting strong quickly enough, and just generally speaking, they're not seeing the results that they want quickly enough, and they're frustrated about it. Maybe you can relate to this. But the question I have for you is, do you deserve to be frustrated? And this is a really important question. Do you deserve, have you earned the right, if you will, to be frustrated? And it's important to understand where I'm coming from with this question because most people say, they, they think, oh my God, I've put in so much work, I've put in so much time, I've put in so much effort, and I'm just not seeing results. And this leads to frustration. But I think what happens is most people, number one, don't deserve to be frustrated. They haven't earned the right to be frustrated because the reality is they haven't been doing the right things for long enough, consistently enough to actually earn that right, that privilege to be frustrated with their lack of progress. And this stems mostly from, number one, an unrealistic expectation or an unrealistic um, knowledge or a lack of knowledge of what a realistic rate of progress will look like. That's number one. And it also also stems from an unrealistic um, view of how much you're actually doing and how consistently you're actually doing things properly. Okay? So to talk about the first thing, talking about specifically talking about having an unrealistic expectation. Let's talk about fat loss, for example. If you are frustrated with how much fat you're losing. I have to ask you, how are you keeping track of your fat loss? Are you weighing yourself consistently? Are you weighing yourself at least three or four times a week minimum? Are you keeping track of measurements? Are you measuring your waist? Are you measuring your quads? Are you measuring your neck? Are you measuring parts of your body to get an idea of how much weight you're losing? Are you taking progress pictures? Are you getting your body fat measured on a regular basis? There are a variety of ways to measure if you're and see, actually get measurable, visible progress, see if you're making progress, as opposed to just looking in the mirror. And I have to ask, are you doing that? Are you taking measurable, um, are you taking measurements? Regardless of whether it's the scale, body fat, tape measure, whatever it is, are you doing that? And if you aren't, you can't make up an excuse in your head, you're not doing things properly. You aren't keeping measurable track of what you're doing and you can't know if you're actually making progress. That's number one. Number two is, let's say we're talking about strength gains, okay? You're not making strength gains in the gym. You're not getting stronger. Well, first and foremost, are you following a program? Are you following a program that was designed for you? Are you following something week to week, every single day? It's already pre-planned. It's not just going in and doing whatever the hell you feel like. It's doing a program that is actually pre-planned and designed to help you achieve a specific goal. That's number one. Number two, are you actually keeping track of how much you're lifting on a day-to-day -day basis? Are you writing it down? Are you tracking it? Are you measuring it? Are you, let's say you couldn't do a push-up from the floor 12 weeks ago, and now you can do five push-ups from the floor. Have you measured that? Have you actually kept track of that? Because that's huge progress. And if you aren't keeping track of these things, if you aren't keeping track of how much you're lifting, if you aren't keeping track of your training programs, if you aren't looking at these things from the actual, me the actual measurable aspect, then you don't deserve to be frustrated because you have no idea how much progress you've made or haven't made. If you haven't made progress, that's on you. If you have made progress, you don't know because you, ha you don't have anything in front of you. You need to keep track of what you're doing and make sure you're meticulously looking at it and examining it, examining it to see what works, okay? That's first and foremost. Second, let's talk about understanding what a realistic rate of progress actually looks like, okay? Let's talk about fat loss. Okay, I haven't lost weight. You know, I've been doing this for so long, blah, blah, blah. How long have you really been doing something? How long have you really been following a consistent diet, a consistent program geared for you. How long have you been following it? A couple weeks, three weeks, four weeks? Like seriously following it. I don't mean like doing it Monday through Wednesday, Monday through Thursday, and then going off track for the weekend, and then getting back on because that's not following the program. If you're doing it a couple days a week, then falling back off, then a couple days a week and falling back off, or even if you do it perfectly for two weeks, even if you do it spot on for two weeks, which that's a, that can feel like a long time. 
If you do it perfectly for two weeks and then fall off again, you're not doing the program. You need to make sure that you are consistently doing it for three months minimum. Do something for three months as best as you possibly can and then look back, okay? And if you consistently do something for three months, then we can talk about what's a realistic rate of fat loss. Well, generally speaking, I'd say anywhere between half a pound to one and a half pounds a week. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less depending, but really let that sink in. If you're frustrated with your fat loss and you're losing half a pound to a pound a week, you have no reason to be frustrated because that is perfect. You are on track, you're doing really well. So don't let this lack of understanding of what a realistic rate of progress get in your way. Don't let people tell you you need to lose 10, 15, 20 pounds really, really fast. That's bullshit. Half a pound to a pound a week is phenomenal. So if you're actually doing that and keeping measurable progress and keeping track of that and really following a program and a half a pound to a pound a week is happening, you're good. Stick with it. Don't complain. Don't get discouraged because half a pound to a pound a week is damn good. Okay? You need to keep all this in mind because if we're constantly getting frustrated, if we're like, oh, I'm frustrated with my lack of progress, I'm frustrated I'm not losing fat, I'm frustrated I'm not getting stronger, well, you're just going to fall off the, the, fall off the wagon. You're not going to do anything. And you're going to be like everyone else who falls off and falls off and does something for a week and then falls off again and does something different for another week and falls off again and they never get anywhere and they're constantly frustrated. They're mentally frustrated, emotionally frustrated, spiritually frustrated because they aren't doing anything for any period of time and then they don't see any results. Stick with something. Do it for a minimum of 12 weeks. Minimum. And that's a long time. Stick with it for 12 weeks. Don't do it for three weeks and then say, fuck it, I'm going to change it because I don't see any results. Three weeks isn't enough time to see your results. It's not enough time. Give it more, take your time, be patient with it, and then after 12 weeks say, you know what, now it's time to reassess, let me see what I need to change, okay? Ask yourself, are you, have you earned the right to be frustrated? Odds are, the answer is no.